So in order to use our results for the analysis of the well mix room uh, to, uh, the, uh, into the safety guideline, let me just summarize the results for the general case of transient buildup of aerosols in the room and the associated transmission. So here is the result that we derived earlier, which is that the transmission rate as a function of time is an integral over all the droplet sizes. And then you have here the mask filtration factor, which depends on size, PM. You have the breathing rate, QB, that comes in squared because there's one person breathing out, another person breathing in. You got the volume of the room. You have here the relaxation rate for the concentration of aerosol in the room, which here is given by four factors for ventilation, sedimentation, filtration, and deactivation. And then for the production of aerosols, there's this NQ of R, which is the number of exhaled infection quanta per volume, per air volume, leaving the breath per radius, because it's still resolved by the different droplet radii. And this has several contributions. It has ND of R, which is the distribution of droplet sizes. Uh, VD of R is the volume of each droplet. Uh, depends on the respiratory activity. Uh, CV is the viral load, uh, which we are typically assuming is near the maximum when we're concerned about controlling spreading. And CI of R is the infectivity per virion, uh, which we have discussed before, also may have a size dependence and is most likely higher in the aerosol droplets. So that's the general solution. And the safety guideline we just discussed has in it the time average beta. So beta with, beta with the two brackets, which is the integral in time of beta divided by the time tau. So we can break that into two parts. So we integrate this here. The, the one here is a it gives you a steady state term, and the integral is shown right here. Uh, and that's, that's basically the, the, ultimately the, the, the average uh, that remains. But initially, when the infected person first walks in the room, there's a time to build up the concentration, which only lowers the transmission rate. So the average transmission rate is always less than the steady state. You're approaching the steady state from below because you need the time to build up those droplets. And so the delta beta here, which is that correction, takes the following form. If you, what you can do is bring the integral over time and switch places with the integration over R and do the time integral inside the integral. And so that allows you to get, instead of lambda C here, you get a lambda C squared, and you get the following expression for the delta beta. It may not be obvious looking at it, but if you take the limit of tau going to zero, this expression leads to just beta bar. So delta beta of zero is beta bar, and that's because if you take this exponential here and you go to small times, you can linearize that and find it's lambda ct, so it factors, cancels one factor of lambda c, one factor of tau, and you end up with just a single lambda c uh, as, as above. So what that means is that the average beta, which we're plotting here, as a function of the time tau, starts out at zero, it ramps up, and then eventually approaches a steady state. And here's the full solution. So all the information that we've talked about before in terms of filtration, sedimentation, other phenomena in the well mixed room are all included in this framework and it can then be put into the safety guideline to derive a general uh, safety guideline that has all of the physics that we want um, in there and allows you to define a safe occupancy for a room.